Hey everybody, Alan here. Oh, it's that time of the month again. It's the first, and it's time to do another uh, image on my uh, on my hard drive. So, uh, what you're looking at here is our drive image. This is the imaging program. Uh, it's an excellent program to have for backing up your uh, data on your C drive or even on a backup drive or whatever. Uh, this has been around for a while. It's it's really good software just to let you know. Uh, this, uh, our tools technology, they offer a, I think they offer a 30 day trial on this. It's either 30 day or 15 day. I think it's 30 day. And that's fully functional software. There's nothing, uh, they don't uh, cut anything out on it. Okay, so what I want to do is share this with you, our drive image. Uh, drive-image.com is the website. So let's take a look at it. Let's take a look at the program. And there it is. There's our drive image. So you can create an image from a C drive or whatever drives you have. You can restore the image. Copy. Disk, disk to disk. If you're upgrading a SSD, I guess. Uh, partition manager, which I really don't mess with too much. Create OEM, task and scripts. Create image for files. Check an image. Create startup disk. This will come in really handy if your computer crashes and you can't get it to start up again. You put in like a USB drive or CD, it'll, it'll start the program and you can actually restore an image that you've saved um, uh, either uh, probably on like a, a backup disk or something. Uh, you can mount a virtual disk and log files. Uh, I would take a look at this because uh, it's something that would give you, <laughs> give me actually a peace of mind because I don't think that uh, you you want to have to uh, redo your C drive or Windows all over again. So I do this about once a month. Uh, this is the first, so it's time to do it. So let's take a look at something else for our start. Okay, here's my local disk C drive, SSD. That's a one terabyte drive. This is the backup drive here. Uh, this is also an SSD drive that's connected to the primary. This is a 500 gigabyte drive. Let's open this up for a minute and take a look at it. Okay, there's all my lovely files. If you go up to where it says R drive image right here, open this up. You will see the last image that was created was on 92722. I'm gonna go ahead and delete this. Says it's too big for the recycle bin, that's fine. <coughs> Let's go back and take a look at the E drive again. Wow, look at that. Look how <laughs> look how much space is freed up. So the image the image file just itself is pretty darn big. And this is only a 500 gigabyte SSD, this, this this backup drive. This was actually, when I bought the computer, this was actually my primary drive. And I bought this one. This is a one terabyte. This is what replaced it. So this is now my backup drive. And I'm thinking about getting a two ter... I'm thinking about getting two, two terabyte drives to put in here. Okay, so I just wanted to show you that. Okay, let's close this down. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start a, a new image. We're going to click on create image here. Clicking it. Okay, so uh, the one that we're going to create is uh, select the disk to create image from. That will be this drive here, drive C. That's the one we're going to uh, create the image from. Let's go ahead and click on next. Select the destination for the new image. It's going to go here, backup drive. It's going to go to 
hard drive image folder that's where I want it put estimated image size is 463 gigabytes the destination free space is 448 Uh, let's go back. Show you how I fix that. Open this back up. Open this back up. Let's see what stuff I can get rid of. Yeah, I really don't need that. Let's just go ahead and get that. I can all I can always get that back. That's no big deal. That's not gonna hurt nothing. Okay, let's uh Try that again and see what we got. Okay, so we'll go back here. C drive. Select this to create the image from. Okay, next. Destination. Image size is 463, but the destination free is 448. Let's see here. This says the free space is 481. That's what Windows is reporting. Used is only 12 gigabytes. Free space is 481 on the free space. So let's go ahead. Estimated total duration, 7 hours, 34 minutes. Estimated image size 302, so let's go ahead and set it at there. Split image now, I'm not going to do that. Don't worry about that. I'm going to put in here uh, monthly.
monthly image file for November 1st, 22. No known, uh, no known, uh, no known problems. I'll just put it in there. So okay. All right. So I got it set to 302. As the destination free space is 448. I know I'm going to have to get a bigger drive here pretty soon, but I think it should work. So this is where uh, you can see what I got set up here. Let's make sure of something here before we do this. Yeah, okay. So that's right. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay, so everything's set. Estimated total duration one day and one hour. I, I guarantee it's not going to take that long. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video right now. Uh, I got 3:40, uh, 3:42 in the afternoon. That's Eastern Standard Time. So I'm going to write down the time that I started this. Okay, let's uh, let's start. I'm gonna process it. It's gonna take a picture of the C drive or my hard drive, Windows, everything that's in there. It's gonna take a little while. So what I'm gonna do is let this do what it needs to do. But well, like I said, right now it's three it's three forty three in the afternoon. So we'll see just see how long this takes. And this is at mid-level compression. It's not the fastest or the slowest. It's like in between. I think that's what I did last time. So I should have enough room on my uh, on my backup drive for this file. But uh, this is something you may want to, you know, consider uh, getting or either, you know, or looking into. Uh, like I said, it's uh, oh, you get a 30 free. 30 free days, download for 30 days free. That's fully functional software. They don't cut anything out. You can use it, you can use it any way you want. So that's pretty nice. Uh, it says the drive image files can be stored in a variety of places. Such as a CD, rewritable, DVD, Omega, Zip, Dash, you name it. Uh, I don't think the, fi the image file itself can be put on the drive that you're actually making the image from so but uh, what I want to do later I'm not gonna do it right now I want to uh, I want to back up uh, some folders on my C drive just uh, just to be on the safe side so okay well you know take a look at it and see what you think and give me some feedback if you want to and uh, I'm gonna let this do what it needs to do. I'm gonna put the video on pause and uh, I will be back when it's done. I got a few things I gotta get done. <laughs> okay, well thanks for taking your time to look at it and uh, about I would say, I think last time was like an hour and a half or so. But, okay, let me put this on pause and I'll be back. Thank you. Okay, so what I did here, I'm back, and uh, it took about two and a half hours to do this, uh, to completely uh, do a, uh, an image on the drive here. It took two and a half hours to do the to, to do it to do an image on the C drive, which was uh, the uh, the uh, primary the primary drives are one terabyte. It, backed up about 75% of it. So if you had to if you had to completely redo your C drive, your hard drive on your computer, Windows, all the programs and everything that you have, you think it would take you more than two and a half hours to do that to set all this up back up again?